Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this transistor circuit and we have been asked to find the collector current. Now first of all, we need to find out whether this transistor is operating in the active region or the saturation region. But initially, let us assume that it is operating in the active region. And assuming that, first of all, let us find out the base current. So here, these terminals are the base, collector and the emitter terminals. So first of all, let us find out the base current. And for a moment, let us assume that this inner diode is operating in the breakdown region. That means the voltage drop across this inner diode is equal to 5 volt. So here, if the voltage at the anode of this inner diode is minus 12 volt, then the voltage at the cathode of this inner diode should be equal to minus 7 volt. And as you can see, this terminal is at the ground potential. That means current through this 15 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 0 minus minus 7 volt divided by 15 kilo ohm. And let's say this current is equal to I. So this current I is equal to 0 0.466 milliampere. That means if this inner diode is operating in the breakdown region, then the current through this 15 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 0.46 milliampere. Now, if this transistor is operating in the active region, then the base emitter junction is forward biased. So here if you observe, the voltage at the emitter is equal to minus 12 volt. And here we have been given that the voltage VBE is equal to 0.7 volt. That means the voltage at the base terminal will be equal to minus 12 plus 0.7 volt. Similarly, we have been given that the voltage drop across the diode is equal to 0.7 volt. That means if we see the voltage at this node or let's say at this node VA, then the voltage at the VA is equal to minus 12 plus 0.7 volt plus the voltage drop across this diode that is equal to 0.7 volt. That means the voltage VA will be equal to minus 10.6 volt. So in this case, if this inner diode is turned on, then the current will flow through this 1 kilo ohm resistor and it will flow in this direction. So the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor I will be equal to minus 7 minus minus 10.6 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm. That is equal to 3.6 milliampere. Now we have just seen that the current through the 15 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 0.46 milliampere and the current which is flowing through the 1 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 3.6 milliampere. So the remaining current should flow in this direction. That means if we apply the KCL at this node, then the remaining current should flow in the upward direction through this Zener diode. But if this Zener diode is operating in the breakdown region, then the current should flow in the downward direction. That means this inner diode is not operating in the breakdown region and simply it will act as an open circuit. So now if we see the equivalent circuit, then the equivalent circuit will look like this. And for this circuit, now let us find out the base current. So here the base current IB will be equal to 0 minus the voltage at this node. That is 0 minus VA divided by 15 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm and we have seen that the voltage VA is equal to minus 10.6 volt that means base current IB is equal to 0 minus minus 10.6 volt divided by 16 kilo ohm that is equal to 0.662 milliampere that means this will be the value of the base current now if this transistor is operating in the active region then the collector current IC should be equal to beta times IB that is equal to 30 times 0.662 milliampere and if you calculate the value then the collector current IC should be equal to 19.8 milliampere that means if this transistor is operating in the active region then this should be the value of the collector current but first of all let us check whether this much amount of collector current can flow through this given transistor. 
and for that let us find out the maximum collector current which can flow through this transistor circuit so for that we will assume that the transistor is operating in the saturation region that means the vce set is equal to 0.2 volt so here the voltage at the emitter terminal is equal to minus 12 volt so if the transistor is operating in the saturation region then this collector voltage vc will be equal to minus 12 plus 0.2 volt and the collector current ic will be equal to 0 minus minus 12 plus 0.2 volt divided by 2.2 kilo ohm that is equal to 5.36 milliampere so this is the maximum value of the collector current which can flow through the transistor circuit that means the collector current cannot be equal to 19.8 milliampere or in other words we can say that the transistor is operating in the saturation region or if we see the same thing in a different way then we can say that here the base current ib is greater than ic set divided by the value of beta in the active region that means the transistor is operating in the saturation region and the value of the collector current ic will be equal to ic set that means the value of the collector current ic is equal to 5.36 milliampere that means for the given question c is the correct answer